Grab the boat. Okay, good. So one is faster than rowing? Okay, now before you go anywhere, your rope is hanging in the water. You need to pull that rope out so it doesn't get tangled in. You can let go of the rope now, you're good. As long as it's not in the water. Okay, open her up. What can it do? Okay. All right, put it on five, all the way. Oh, that's it, it's gone now. So the uh, first time connecting to the Victron Energy uh, Connect app, um, it actually updates the firmware on the Bluetooth controller because this one's saying it's 2.14 it's upgrading to, to 2.23. So it doesn't actually let you do anything until it's updated. Okay, now it says firmware updated to 2.23 Connect. So VE Direct Smart. So I'm going to do that one normal inverting oh now it's saying that the inverter needs to be updated so it's running version 1.13 and it's going to update it to version 1.21 so update and it says here don't leave the app while the update is in progress it says uh, stay close to the device 52 53 this is the uh, Phoenix Pure Sine Wave Inverter. It's a uh, 48 slash 1200, so it's 48 volts, 1200 watts. So the way I have it wired in here is I have my Renogy Bluetooth monitor um, on the PE side, so um, or the P negative. So all of my negative connections are on one side, so that way the voltage monitor actually can see the draw that it's taking, and uh, that will come out over here on the. Uh, on the battery monitor which is powered off right now because I have the power off to the boat. I guess I can turn the power back on. Okay, maybe can you hold that? Firmware updated. Continue. I accidentally pulled the uh, battery monitor off. That's why that's not on. That's got to go into that little bus. The white one or the green one? Yeah, this is like awkward to get your fingers in the right position. You can do it. Okay, that's good. Yay. So that'll power up the battery monitor. Okay, so uh, let's see what this thing is doing. It says load normal, AC output 120, it's inverting my incoming change pin code. Oh, hang tight. These are all dead batteries. <laughs> it's a lot. So load normal, inverting, voltage, mode is on, so I can turn it off here with Bluetooth, dynamic cutoff disabled, low battery shut down so it won't function after 37 volts, low battery restart and alarm, 43 volts, charge detect, 56 volts. So it knows that if the voltage is higher than 56, I guess it's charging, wake up minimum power, 15 watts. Eco mode search interval. So basically it's got max power and eco and I have no idea which one I'm on but there's two power settings.
Uh, maybe the one thing that uh, is worth pointing out here, I did learn uh, eco mode, the way it functions, is that it pulses the power. Um, so basically it kind of leaves the power on and then it shuts it off briefly and then it turns it back on and shuts it off briefly. Um, so it kind of pulses and uh, it didn't actually work with my induction cooktop at all. Um, I could run other things with it, but I couldn't run the cooktop. So the cooktop needs it to be on full power mode where it's not doing this pulsing and then it worked fine. It's working. So we're one step closer and then I'll have a dual, I'm putting in a dual uh, switch. So one will be shore and one will be uh, inverter. So I'll be able to cut the inverter off and not give it any load. That's kind of the goal. Alright, so uh, we've just got the temporary extension cord plugged into it and the vacuum. And the vacuum uses 7.8 amps at 120. And um, I just want to show um, what it does. So turn it on, David. Mm -hmm. So it goes inverting and it went right to high. That output of that unit is only 8 amps. So we're using 7.8. So pretty much using the whole thing. You can see the voltage dropping on the batteries. Okay, fill it. And then normal, it goes back. My voltage now is not going up. So the sun is charging my batteries here again. So uh, we'll have to test and see how long it takes to boil water and make toast. And, and Yeah, and see how that works for us. But uh, yeah, that's basically how it works. Seems to be working pretty good. Right now we're boiling some water. I think I have a this is running at five, so half load. And uh, according to my battery monitor, we're drawing a kilowatt now to run that thing, which is a thousand watts. And that's what I measured. I measured 900 and something watts to boil water. So I just put that on. Uh, is I had to replace the uh, just single shore power with a selector so it's got this slider blocker mechanical thing really just so that you can't turn them both on at the same time so this I flip this back to shore power and or sorry I have shore power off from running on the inverter so I just have that on and now this plug and I have a the other matching outlet under here so those are running on that so I cannot oh look at that it's already done boiling Yeah, these these induction cooktops are just phenomenal for heat and like it's not even hot. It showed 49.2 volts and it kind of hung tight at about 49.2 volts. So right now there's a little bit to run the fan while it's cooling down, and uh, you can see my load is normal, so there's basically no load. Right on. So we're going to start cleaning up and get ready to uh, do a launch. And uh, we put our burgie up, and uh, now we forgot that we just had to readjust the lights when the mast was put up. The deck lights were bent funny, so uh, we need the one in the right side pushed back a little bit. So I'm just going to hoist David up, and then uh, David's just going to prep him, and then uh, we'll be done. What was that experience like? Awesome. <laughs> Is it fun up there? Yeah, it's awesome. Can you see a long way? Yeah. I huh? can see like... So maybe another time we'll bring you all the way to the top. That was only halfway. Really? Yeah. And then all the way to the top would be creepy. Be creepy? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a certain distance when I go up, like right around the middle, where it starts like like it's crazy when I look down, like it's crazy like how high I am. Yeah. It's just like there. Like if I go up to like right about that where that pulley is in the middle, the middle. Yeah. Like a quarter of the way up. I don't really feel anything. It's like cool, but it's not crazy. You don't feel like the uh, little butterflies in your stomach. Yeah, I don't feel that. Yeah. I know, I I know what you mean. Middle, I've done a lot of tower climbing in my day and uh, climbed uh, 250 feet up a tower. Yeah, you get belly butterflies in your belly. Anyways, that was it. We're all done those projects. Lots of boat action here. I think that we're on a collision course here. But I'm going to turn out of his way and let and give to him because I don't want to have to take any chances.